Okay, so in this video, I'm going to have a look at the formal proof of De Moivre's theorem using induction. So remember, uh, for doing a proof by induction, we have step one, prove true for n equal to one. Step two, assume true for n equal to k. And step three, prove true for n equal to k plus one. Now, here's De Moivre's theorem. Here's what it'll look like in your log tables. So, or times cosine theta plus i sine theta all to the power of n that'll be equal to or to the power of n cos n theta plus i sine n theta okay so let's prove this true for n equal to one so on the left hand side here i'd get or times cos theta plus i sine theta all to the power of 1 and on the right hand side that would be or to the power of 1 times cos of 1 theta plus i sine of 1 theta so on the left hand side uh, anything to the power of 1 is just itself so that's or uh, times cos theta plus i sine theta and then on the right hand side or to the power of one is or and then cos of one theta is just cos theta plus i sine of one theta is sine theta so i have the left hand side is equal to the right hand side or cos theta plus i sine theta is equal to or cos theta plus i sine theta so therefore it's true for n equal to 1. Uh, step 2 then is assume it's true for n equal to k. So basically just take this first line here and sub in k. So that'll be or times cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of k. And that will be equal to or to the power of k times cos k theta plus i sine k theta. So that's an assumption that we make that we'll use in step three. Step three then is prove true for k or for n equal to k plus one. So first thing is I'm going to write out this line here with k plus one instead of n. So that would be or times cosine theta plus i sine theta all to the power of k plus 1 equal to this one now or to the power of k plus 1 times cos of k plus 1 theta plus i sine k plus 1 theta. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on the left hand side to make it equal to the right hand side. When I'm doing proof by induction, that's the way I, I always do it. Manipulate the left hand side to make it equal to the right hand side. I think that's the best way to do it. Some people will work on both sides. Um, I don't like to do that. I like to keep this constant and work on this side here. So or times cosine theta plus i sine theta to the power of k plus 1. The first thing we can do is use our laws of indices to split up the power of k plus 1. So we'll have this to the power of k times this to the power of 1. So it'll be or times cosine theta plus i sine theta uh, to the power of k and times or cosine theta plus i sine theta to the power of 1. And that's equal to, we're aiming for the right hand side. So I'll just write down my equal sign here each time. Now this uh, or to the power of k, well we've done this in this line here. So we've assumed it's true up here. So I can replace this part with this part so that's or to the power of k 
times cosine k theta plus i sine k theta. So I've replaced this to the power of k with this side here. And the second half of it here, well, anything to the power of 1 is just itself, so I can write down that's times or cosine theta plus i sine theta. And is that equal to the right-hand side? Not yet, but we're getting there. Okay, so now I have or to the k times this times or times this. Well, multiplication is commutative, so I can change the order. So I can do or to the k times or, or to the k times or, and then I have times this bracket and this bracket. So times uh, cos of k theta plus i sine k theta times cos theta plus i sine theta. Is it equal to the right hand side? Not yet. So or to the k times or, well that's equal to or to the k plus 1, again using our laws of indices. And you can see I have my first thing from my right hand side that I'm looking for, or to the k plus 1. Now I'm going to multiply this then by, well I have two brackets here, each with two terms, so I'm going to multiply first by first, second by first, second by second, um, Sorry, first by first, first by second, second by first, second by second. So, uh, cos k theta times cos theta is cos k theta cos theta. Then the second by the first, so plus i sine k theta cos theta. Then I'm going to do uh, the first by the second, so that'll be cos k theta by i sine k by i sine theta. I'll bring the i out in front, so plus i cos k theta sine theta. That was the first by the second, and then finally the second by the second. So that would be i by i is minus 1, so that'll be minus, uh, i by i is i squared, i squared is minus 1, so minus sine k theta sine theta, sine k theta sine theta. So multiplying that out, tricky enough, um, just make sure if you're, if you're unsure, just have a look over it again. So it was uh, cos k theta by cos theta, it was i sine k theta by cos theta. It was cos k theta by i sine theta. And then it was i sine k theta by i sine theta. So now I can take what's in the brackets here and simplify it then as much as I can. So I'm going to put the real parts, with the real parts, and the imaginary parts with the imaginary parts. So that'll be or time. Uh, to the power of k plus 1 times uh, cos k theta cos theta and here's my other real part here minus sine k theta sine theta and then getting <clears throat> and then getting the imaginary parts together I'll bring the i out in front so it's plus i times sine k theta cos theta plus cos k theta sine k theta or sine theta and then close the brackets and is that equal to the right hand side well we're nearly there so what I can do now is I can use my uh, identities my trigonometric identities for cos k theta cos theta minus sine k theta sine theta well that using your um using your trigonometric identities can be simplified to cos k theta plus theta 
and then that'll be plus i. Same thing over here. So sine k theta cos theta plus cos k theta sine theta. That can be simplified to sine k theta plus theta. And we're nearly finished now. All I need to do is factorize these bits here in the brackets. So or to the power k plus 1 is times cos well k theta times uh, k theta plus theta I can factor out theta and be left with k plus 1 times theta plus i sine same thing factor out the theta I get k plus 1 theta close brackets and that is equal to the right hand side that I was searching for this is what I wanted to end with and this is what I ended with so final line then therefore by induction uh, de Moivre's uh, theorem is true for all n an element of the natural numbers Okay, so just to recap over it, step one, prove true for n equal to one. So start with what's in your log tables and then sub in one for n and you get the left hand side equal to the right hand side. Step two, assume it's true for n equal to k. So from your log tables, substitute k in for n. And then step three, prove true for n equal to k plus one. So write it out left hand side and right hand side again putting k plus one instead of n here uh, here here and here and then just work on the left hand side until it's equal to the right hand side this is one of those things that you're just going to have to learn off by heart and um, some of it when you're in here you can work through using your algebra and your trigonometry but it's basically something that you should just learn off so best of luck in the exams, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.